Susanna Gha and welcome to my YouTube and welcome to my kitchen today because I am cooking. So I'm somebody that's not really extremely excited about cooking and in my house the master chef is my husband. He really enjoys looking up for new recipes, trying them out, in fact inviting people over to have his meals. So he's that interested in cooking and feeding people whereas I do the basic stuff, rice, rasam, dal, and like one palya, that's that's what I majorly do. And very, very occasionally, I will feel very like creative and interested to cook. And today is one of those days. So what am I cooking today? I am cooking the burrito rice bowl in a very Indian jugad way. Burrito bowl is like one of my favorite, favorite dishes. In fact, Mexican is one of my most favorite cuisines after Indian, of course. This is not a recipe video. This is more of a vlog. I hope you enjoy this video and uh, let me get started so before even i start i'll tell you what i did because burrito bowl has like a load of elements in it cooked veggies rice salsa some sauces and stuff like that so first of all it was very confusing for me to decide what i should actually put in my bowl i went through a couple of recipes and figured out here's is like a list i made i'm gonna make rice salsa sour cream cooked veggies and kidney beans. I would like to add guacamole to it, but uh, we did not get avocado yesterday. So my husband's not yet home. If he does bring it, then yes, guacamole as well. Otherwise, that's about it. So one thing I know for this recipe is for salsa, sour cream, the cooked veggies, kidney beans, for everything, we need three things for sure. One is chopped onions, chopped tomatoes, and lime juice lemon whatever so what i'm planning to do because there's a lot of prep to do right so i'm planning to first of all i've put the rajma kidney beans to soak in the morning itself so it's quite soaked and nice right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to first put this uh, rajma and sweet corn in the pressure cooker and let it cook first and after that i am going to start shopping everything that I need. So let's get started. But really, like, look at the tears. <laughs> Oops, this is gone. What do I do with such kind of onion? Nicely chopped. One more thing that is actually used in a lot of these elements in the burrito rice bowl is the garlic. So I've taken this much of garlic, I don't know again, I have no clue about the quantities and stuff like that. I'm going to toss this as well inside the chopper. I'm not sure if the chopper can chop just this much of garlic, but let's see. Whew, it's taken me like 10, 12-ish minutes to do this already. There should be a better way to do this, right? I, I don't know it, right? Because if this is the case, it's so tiring. I love, I love peeling garlic, by the way. But it's a lot of time, like, it's a lot, lot of time. Let me know in the comment section below what is the better way. How how can I feel this easily and quickly? Now the question is, will this happen? Let's hope. It's good to me. Great. The cooking is not even begun. It's just the prep that is done and I is tired. 
these are all the vegetables that I want to add so there's chopping time for this meanwhile let me quickly check the cooker this seems like it's nicely done and this will need a check so let me use the fork I mean I should be checking this as well hmm I'm nicely done it's somewhat sourish. It's not like sweet. So I don't know if it's the corn or if it's... It's not gone bad for sure because the expiry date is not done. Hmm. This definitely needs one more round of pressure cooking. It's not yet ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back. Okay, so the sweet corn has gone bad. The other packet has also gone bad. So I am not going to let this go. I am going to go to the store and get new ones right away while the rajma and corn are cooking and uh, while i also chop the rest of the vegetables i'm putting the rice to cook so the first round of rice let it get cooked and then i can make the rest of the stuff as the rice gets cooked So yes, it is ideal to put lettuce into the biota bowl, but I did not find lettuce, I did not find avocado as I said. So it's a little bit of a jugaad Indian version. So obviously the Indian version of lettuce has to be cabbage I guess. So I'm just trying to make do with this one today. I am really hungry already. I'm like, oh, can I just order? Can I just order? Because it's already 8.50 and I'm still in the prep stage. What, what the hell am I doing? That is some coriander leaves, the last bit that I want to chop and keep ready. My dad chops the coriander leaves like very small, tiny, tiny bits and it tastes really good like because it spreads across. But no matter how hard I try, I can't do it as good as he does. And anyway, hoping this should be enough. The whole kitchen slab is like taken by just the prep part of it. Now where do I cook? I have to kind of figure that out. We clear this a bit. I'm just like looking at the list that I have over here. This list is like what are all the things that I want to do inside my burrito bowl. Rice is getting ready. Let's start with uh, salsa maybe. Or uh, okay, salsa and cooked beans are like still inside the cooker, right? So let's start with the veggies now. going to start off with adding some chopped onion and the minced garlic as well. What I realized is this would be more suitable for the rajma and this like open kind of a pan would be suitable for the vegetables. So let's do that. Let this fry and then maybe we'll add the rest. I have no clue what I'm doing, but let's do it anyway. Yes. Oh. The corn is seems to be ready. I don't know, no, no. Welcome to my disastrous kitchen. Damn. I have just poured the kidney beans into the stove. It has to cook a little too much. Alu no, Baba. Okay, quite a bit of hangama later and a little bit of a clean kitchen. I am still sorting this and I'm still not very sure if this is what goes inside a burrito bowl. But let's just do it anyway now. Burrito bowl is just vegetable rice. I have this tikka chaska and chili plate. I'm going to add that here instead of buying new ones. Okay, this is gone bad. I've turned the gas off, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of lemon. 
let me now make two things one is the salsa and the other one is the sour cream thingy so for sour cream i do not have hung curd but i have like a very thick curd from this this company and i'm going to use this itself for now just just plain jugaad i do not have any more patience for anything else so starting with curd okay ish thick and to this we add a nice spoon of lime some tomatoes and some onions and also coriander leaves and since my husband is here i'm going to ask him to mix this come baby as he mixes it let's make the salsa i chunk of tomatoes this pretty much looks like raita but it's not raita okay it's it's supposed to be sour cream <laughs> this is well we have to add salt to that and what else We add salt like the salt bay. Yes, salt bay. Do salt bay. You're my bay, no? Huh. Trying to be too cool Yeah. It's going on YouTube. You know that, right? I can't believe it. Your family is going to watch this. You know that, right? Salt bay. Salt another bay. Huh. I really feel like. Should have ordered. I should have ordered. I should have ordered. <laughs> yeah. Give me a suggestion. Yeah. Keep cleaning the kitchen. I am cleaning the kitchen. Just. Yeah. Sure. Master chef of my house is uh, about to give some major tips. Cooking tips. Not cooking tips. Hmm. What tips? Just do regular cleaning. Yes. Time to time. Time to time. What? Keep the kitchen of? clean. Keep the floor clean. Every time. Okay. Keep the table clean. Okay. 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 Got it. You will feel uh, good. The rajma is not really cooked well, so I decided to transfer it to the cooker and give it a nice, a proper vessel because it's going to take forever otherwise to really cook it in the vessel. The rajma is almost cooked. I would say it's still not very mushy, but this is it. We're done, and uh, this whole thing has become a little watery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the water. to the rice and mix it first and then serve it to the bowl we are in the last lap i'm just going to let it come to boil a bit and then that's about it just enough to make the rice get some flavor and now let's do the last lap assembling of everything i'm going to use this bowl as a measuring bowl Looks so average. Ugh. Let me taste. It's good. It's like it's not like a burrito Super. bowl or anything. It's like an Indianized version, but it's nice. It's good. It's actually good. Very good. Yeah. Hmm? But it's definitely not like a burrito bowl, <laughs> and it's on a plate, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Subscribe to my channel and definitely do watch this vlog as well if you like this video. And uh, see you in my next video. Bye bye. No no no.